And you and Pete can stop just waltzing in here for the rest of the day. Moira and Kane need some space, and that means a romantic lunch and that door bolting. Sure, whatever. Right. I'm going to get cracking in this kitchen. I'm going to whip them something up really fancy. weird being here, us out, but I'm fine, honestly. So this row with Pete, guess it was a big one. He accused me of being stupid and selfish. And he washed his hands of me, basically. What did you say? Oh, didn't have a chance to say much. But whatever he thinks of me, Pete's family. It's not like I have a lot of that left, eh? Yeah, come on. Pete's wrong. You don't get us. I mean, why would he? Right. I need to nip to the toilet. to be a swan. It turned out like a chubby lopsided penguin. No, I mean oh, all this. <sighs> Romantic lunch for you and Moira. I just thought you needed some time together. It's been like the YMCA around here. We can manage our own lives. Who says you can? Well, I managed to book us a B and B next week out in the sticks. Really? Yeah, there's an agricultural show over that way. You know, thought I could go with her, spend a couple of nights with her. See, well. I don't want to accuse you of losing your edge, son, but an agricultural show. And hardly scream sexy times, does you it? You just stop talking. Where is Moira, anyway? So, no, I've been trying to ring her. She won't answer. Look, I'm, I'm going to try her again. See if I can get her to come home for both your sakes. Hmm? It's very good. I'm sorry that I was rambling on about Pete. Don't be sorry. That's what I'm here for. Not the only thing I'm here for, though. I've got some rooms upstairs, apparently. Probably some massive, comfy bed. I've probably stayed here far too long already. Mm. What's up? Pete's called me twice, but I didn't even need it, right? Dodgy reception, probably. Mm. This one's silent. I must have got knocked. Well, I'm going to have to ring her. Why? Well, it might have something to do with Isaac. Then when his nursery of code. Actually, I think I'd be happier if we just get back. Sure. Whatever you want. Oh, there she is, look. Just in time for your steak pie to be clapped cold. I don't remember asking for steak pie. No, neither of you did, but Muggins here thought I'd make one anyway, just so you and Kane could spend some quality time together. Oh, Faith, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were doing this. No, well, none of us did. She took it upon herself. Only because I know what things have been like round here. And I tried calling you twice. Why didn't you answer your phone? Well, I, I was up past the top field with Pete, and, well, you know, the signal's rubbish up there. I, um, we've been snowed under. I haven't even checked. Oh, uh, yeah, say sorry. I wish I'd have known. Well, you could eat it up for your teas, I suppose. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Thought you'd look a bit more exhausted, a bit scruffy like. Sorry? From what Maury said. About you two having this big job on. Up past the top field. All oh, right, yeah. Mm. Oh. Dog love. Mm. <laughs> Would you mind taking their order? Call of nature for me. Thank you. You've got some nerve. I told you to keep me out of this. I know. I'm sorry. 